Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 53. So the last few days we've been spent inside of campaigns and today is no different. Today we're gonna to focus on building out a social ad inside of campaigns. So we're gonna click on the megaphone icon to open up the campaigns applet. <coughs> Excuse me, with all things command, when we start something new, we've got a blue green button here at the top right. Let's go ahead and click on create campaign to get our menu open. And today we're gonna to do a paid social ad. Once we do, you can see that it's gonna ask us to name this social ad campaign. And so we've been using 2607 Morgan Fair as of late. Let's not change that. And let's just say this is gonna be the just listed Facebook ad. Now, what is the goal of this social ad campaign? I'm gonna say advertise the listing. And earlier you showed me, uh, heard me say Facebook, just a heads up that when you run a social paid ad, you do have the ability to run it on Facebook and you can also run it on Instagram or Twitter or just Instagram or Instagram and Twitter or Twitter and Facebook, right? Any combination of these three social platforms. So I'm gonna focus just on Facebook for right now, but you can see that you do have those options. Once I click on create campaign, the first thing it's gonna ask me to do is if I want to associate this ad with a listing. Now that is not required as a heads up. So you don't have to have a listing attached to an ad if you're doing a first time home buyer seminar or something similar where it's not uh, an ad geared towards a specific property. I can click on this X and then not have to actually have the listing included. You can see that this is not required. If I do choose a listing, however, it will pull in the uh, first 200-ish characters of the public description and the photos. So let's look for 2607 Morgan Fair. There we go. And you can see now it's going to bring in that lead photo and the first uh, 197 of the public description. This text is what shows above the photo. And typically this is where your kind of uh, description or your hook is going to be. What's the ad about and why should I click on it? Your photo wants to lend to that as well. And you can see, obviously, this is a beautiful listing. So this might be the public description of the property. And then the headline is click here for more info with an exclamation point, right? Um, and then you have the ability to put in the description, uh, which is gonna show down here below. So uh, more photos, pricing and private tours available by clicking on There we go, and I'm gonna save that. And so you can kind of start to see what my ad's going to look like. The next step is my media. So if I click on configure, you can see it brought in the lead photo for the listing. If I don't like that lead photo, I can quick click on the three dots, right? And decide to change the image. And if I do, you'll see it brings in all of the images from the listing. However, I also have the ability to add images and bring them in from my designs library. So you'll remember we made a social post design. I actually went in and made a social ad design for Morgan Fair using the same information we did on our social post. And when I click on that, it's going to allow me to then bring in that design from designs to be used with our ad. Now you can see this says square placement. It's best for most, however, it is not best for your ads. It actually says it which wants to do wide. So we're gonna save that image. And now here is our design. Also note that the DBA is being placed on the bottom right, but I already have a DBA there. So I can choose to remove that and that will go away from the preview. Next, we're gonna get into Facebook settings and lead settings. Um, we're actually gonna wrap the video now so that I can come back tomorrow to talk about your Facebook settings, where and how you're gonna run the ad, and then lead settings. So some additional things that you can automate once your ad actually goes out and you start to have people click on it. So look forward to that tomorrow, but for today, this is the beginning of our Facebook ad. We have selected the name and the goal. We have selected a listing if applicable. We have written out our text and we have selected our media. Again, tomorrow we'll get into the settings and uh, lead settings for Facebook and then we will move forward from there. 
Hope everyone's having a great day as always. Look forward to talking to you again real soon.